Hi, people. I have no idea why I'm on here. Sorry, it was one of these completely spur of the moment things, but there's a message you can feel it like you just go on, do the thing, you know, these inspired, do it. There's definitely energy here, and I feel there's a channeling, there's a message that wants to come through. That's why I'm on here. I feel that energy moving well. So there's a message that wants to come through. Who knows? <laughs> We're going to find out. Um, yeah, I just felt very inspired to come on here now. So let me just see what, what the message is about. Because what I was going to talk about is this whole shift, this whole new paradigm we're walking into and the changes and the comparison. So let me just, give me a minute just to... Okay, there's a spaceship. <laughs> okay, so it's it's galactic message. I could feel the energy was quite shifted, quite. So it's a big spaceship, like a big round, uh, like big, like a mothership thing. Well, all right. Mm, they're up here in space somewhere. Yeah, it's like a, well, it's a big ship. Like a big ship, well. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's moving through space. All right. Observing Earth, what we're going through. They are they are here for the shift. Change of energies on the planet. Um, and they're here to help us and assist us through this shift, yeah. And to like acclimate to our new environment. Yeah, it's going to be quite a shift <laughs> in reality. Perception and reality that I gathered. I've been seeing glimpses. Um, so they're here to help us because they've been through this. Obviously, they're more evolved, you know, on that level. Um, to acclimate to our new, new earth, our new reality, our new paradigm. All right. Thank you. Well, I think I've been on the ship before. It's got many layers. Well, it's like a huge mothership. It's got many kind of stories to it. Hmm. Yes, I <laughs> I know a being on there. All right, yeah. Um, hello. Oh, what else? Mm, 
they're watching the old energy, the old earth kind of fall away. I saw that actually in a thing as well. I saw it actually like dropping away, literally like falls away, like literally. So. Right. What would you like to say? Mm. There's a being come forward that wants to talk. Tall, kind of very much sort of. Mm. They don't. They don't call it power, but a very. Sure. With a kind of a. Uh, anyway, nice being. Yes. What would you like to share? Mm. You know, it's kind of like the energy gets sucked away. It's, I don't know if anyone remembers or was traveled back when the dimension collapsed in Atlantis. When Atlantis uh, fell, in other words, it's almost like it, it just dropped another dimension. It was like a vortex. It's like the energy was sucked out. It was like, Voof. and this is kind of hmm, what's been coming here. Something similar, but you're going up instead of going down because you know this is the polarity this is you know out of the one out of source when you're not in the one you're in polarity right so what happens here that goes there then you're going to go up so atlantis fell like you fell in dimensional space you fell in dimensional awareness i should say right in a realm and the energy was kind of if you, anyone traveled back to that time it was really funky it was like it was pulled out completely this you just uh, dropped into a lower energy, a density, or dimension. So this is what it kind of yeah it feels like we're going up, and it's going to be a bit of a, <laughs> a surprise in the other direction. Um, been feeling that. Um, so at the moment, if you can see, we're going to get more spikes in energy coming in. This is what's coming through here. We're going to get like some big spikes coming in. To acclimate us but it's so we're doing it like this so it isn't like a wham bam I mean you just you know you could I suppose you could lose your faculties you would terrorize the mind and body the mind and body would be the problem yeah if you if you if you hmm all right what else Okay, keep going. So yeah, it's so we're doing this in a in a slow way. And this is actually what came what, what the realization came here today. Kind of now ish with these downloads. Is the old way of being, the old gurus and Buddhas. It's kind of not the same. We're going in a different it's yes, there is still this one reality. That is still the ultimate, there is the ultimate when you leave uh, any character, right? If you wake up in form, which is where we're going, you wake up to the fact, out of the illusion, that you are the separate one and you then become the whole universe. So the, what the gurus did in that aspect was before, it was, we've done it before, it was a very forceful way. Um, so they didn't, well, it's not all... You know, they now know you be positive, create your reality. But instead of working through, they thought it would take too long, working through the, what they call the ego, the belief systems of the mind, they, you know, they knew it was an illusion, so they just ignore, you know, if you ignore that. But if you ignore those beliefs and things, as you'll see, you can develop illnesses, you can do all these things because you have that energy, you haven't worked through all those beliefs or whatever, karma, da, 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 da. We're leaving karma. So that's, that's another huge thing. The end of the karmic cycle is cha you know, is coming to an end. Whereas before, everything happened in that karmic cycle. 
but yeah so we live in the karmic cycle right let's come to an end we're going to step out of that so that is going to change the whole paradigm remember because before everything was in happening on earth in a karmic cycle and that's why you had your gurus you had you know all these but yeah you could still do that but it was a, a real effort and this is what this one was busy with yeah um but we are going there naturally now and it's we as we're shifting because now there's <sighs> there are many versions of earth like there are many layers of the astral right this is the whole shift is happening now we're going to have parallel realities many realities versions of earth um uh, um access to them in the awakened state or in the you know, how do i even explain this now i'm just telling you what's coming through what's not kind of downloads what's you know hmm. yeah we're going to have access to all of this and abilities and powers that we had before that so it's kind of like an incorporation so all the gifts and powers we we, we accumulated right in so-called other versions of earth atlantis lemuria bad 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 you'll notice the gifts are coming back your gifts your abilities your uh you're getting different gifts powers and gifts so you're going to have those activated again, plus dimensional awareness. It is not box. You're going to step out of the box. So you're not going to be, oh my gosh, we're stuck in this box. You'll be able to like them move through different dimensions, space, you, the source. You're going to be in your power. This is where we're going. It's, you are actually, now this is the thing, is to understand that you've always been and to stop identifying as a separate one. That, but that's coming as you rise, as you finish, as you we are. You will see this. But what what was what was curious here is how these two are going to mix. So yeah, okay. It looks like what we're doing now, this process, and if, if you're going through this process, right? What's happening with this process? People are on this process. We, a lot of us are at the head at the head of this process. We kind of found ourselves. Sorry, I'm actually quite hot. Whew. It's very warm. I don't know if I've got the heating on, but I'm going to turn it down. Just give me a second, because I'm sweating. <laughs> this energy, energy coming in, so it's making me. Sweat. Wow, it's like I always do that when it's you know. So I just need to turn the heating off. I didn't realize the heating was on. I'm like, <laughs> starting to sweat here. Hang on, guys. Okay. There we are. All right. So, oh, a lot of us, you know, the only way we could get there, kind of, it was difficult to achieve, not difficult to achieve, but that's what we were taught, and that's the teachings. It was one way to go there. It was a whole long process, and a guru, and a, and a Buddha, and all these things, and you didn't do that. Okay, and positive, you create, you know, your mind, all that kind of thing. Obviously, your chakras got cleaned, and all that sort of stuff. So, yes, you did work your way up through that but our negative belief systems you see where we believed anyway who knows it seems to be uh there's a lot kind of like an incorporation of the old and new it is funny because we're kind of finding ourselves at the forefront of this and it's kind of unfolding as it goes you know if you're on this process you shift because that's how it works it's a mind you're creating it as you go so we're shifting it changes we're shifting it changes <laughs> So we're having this, uh, the story's kind of evolving or, you know, unraveling itself. But it is a, a balance of the both. But it looks like this is the whole new, you know, the new creation, right? So those that had those things, some have come in here for this new part. So we have a lot of souls, say, okay, souls, aspects, consciousness, playing, you know, they're new here. So they're straight from other planets and whatever else. So we have, you know, as you will know, star seeds, this, that, all this kind of thing. Everyone wants to, you know, to go in their different directions. So they have an opportunity to like jump onto this version or have an experience or want off experience. Some I just want this just to be here for this, a one off, whatever. 
So yeah, you, you're going to be going, <sighs> sorry, I'm just trying to, I don't know where this came from, but there we are, I just decided to, let me see if anything else, um, you want to show me anything else while I'm just sharing my thoughts here with you? I'm seeing ice. Um, sort of like under the ice in the ocean. Okay, we know that's melting, yeah. There's a lot of volcanoes under there. This is part of the cycle, so it's going to change like with these. The oceans rise, and then it it's this up-down cycle. Hot, cold. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm showing you something under there. It's a base. There's a base under the ice. In the ocean. Well. will come out. Just, okay, I'm not sure why I'm seeing that, but I haven't a clue why I'm showing or why they're showing me that, but well, we know that. Don't know. Don't know what they're gonna do with anything anyway. That's not something that's, you know, that's these bases here under the water, they're everywhere. Yep, they, you know, port holes, they're all over the show. It's not like we don't know they're here, they're everywhere. <laughs> you just, you just, you know, sometimes not aware that they're there. Whether it doesn't matter where they are, they're everywhere. So, you know, it's not like different dimensions. Yeah, it's just different energy. You've got to shift because there's no actual space. As I say, everything's actually here, oh, whatever. If you if the veil drops and you see through the mire, you'll you'll see it's like is what I'm saying. It's a huge, huge um, shift to be a human or to be the source, to be the universe, the whole universe itself, to be aware that you are the whole universe. Because then you see things very differently. It's not what you see here. You see. It's like there is nothing. Everything's just here. Yeah, there's just this void of nothingness. Mm, it's not even people, actually, or things. They just people are just thoughts. And really, what they are is just different lights. So it's like uh, nothingness. And then the different frequencies, kind of like just, oof, not even stars. <laughs> So like, just like there's red, like, so you took a paintbrush and you made little lines like this, random lines and the, there's orange and there's a blue and there's a, really. Your mind is just imagining, because it's coming through the filter of the brain or the mind, which is making the Maya, and it's coming through people, this and that, but actually there's absolutely diddly squat out there. <laughs> there's just a nothingness, actually. The real reality, there's nothing, 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 <laughs> and nothing. Energy, frequency, and color. It is light spectrum, yeah, that's it, really. So your dream, let's say, the dream world, yeah, oh, I don't even know. What I'm feeling here is that, yes, we're going, we're going to, well, we already are, a lot of us, you know, as you go up now, you're being shown it. But the old way was quite harsh. 
because if you try if you try and force it like this one if you try and do a crash course on uh, uh, getting out of the Maya right becoming a guru they say do not do violence to the body or my or to the mind yes well we only found that out afterwards <laughs> because if you try and like do it in a hurry make it happen you can which is funded in the veil um, but wow the poor body and the energy is like it's very heavy and it feels counterintuitive to now to, because if you see where we're going now it's to follow your passion and your joy really it is the guidance is just to flow because first of all when you know who you are you know there is no separate one there is absolutely no separate one it's a complete lots of bollocks there is no separate one you can do your start your inquiry or see it for yourself anyway. There is no one in the body. There is no separate character. There is a body, yes, a form. That's it. There's no one in it. There's not like a separate person. You know what I mean? Identity that has the form. There's only source. You are not in control of your body. That's pretty obvious. You'll see that. You, of the movement of it or anything. It moves independently to everything is happening completely independently to the so-called you. If it, when you start uh, doing this and it starts falling away, you'll be very aware that you are not doing anything. You are not the body in the body. You, got, you are, they say, the observer here. So as you get more and more used to, that's it you will stop identifying as a separate one in the first place. And then, you know, so it's, um, yeah, on that aspect, then it's a lot easier and it's smoother. It's not so much of a shock to the body-mind like this one, you know, it's a big shock when you are so identified with this and it, and you force yourself or force a follower, it's a big fright when you see, you know, as I say, the brain's creating all this nonsense because it's coming through its so much activity is going on here it's blocking the actual perception your consciousness the real one is perceiving is so focused here that it's not seeing the real reality it's clouding the actual that's why they say the maya it's just it's right here so as you start letting go of control because there's no one to control it's the brain it's this it's a program the brain really thinks it's a separate entity it's thoughts really there's only thoughts inside here and they actually believe there's someone who you know because i suppose your parents but no absolutely not when you start as it starts going you'll see you are not doing anything you know that you're not in control of your bowels your heart or diddly squat actually to do with the body and when you start paying attention you'll be aware the energy that you're not and you can just relax in and you actually just let the body, just let life happen as, as you're going now. Let it fold. So you're just going to go along for the ride. You are, you are kind of an observer, as, as they say, right? So how it works is whatever the passion and joy you know, excites this, it's the energy, that's what you're going to follow. And you let go, you see. Only a separate one is trying to find freedom. Is this one, you know, I laughed again today when you're trying to, you know, reach enlightenment. Who's trying to reach enlightenment? You see, there's no doer. That's, it's enforcing the fact that there's a separate one. <laughs> it's a paradox. If you, if you yeah. I've, I've opened a, a non-duality playlist on TikTok for people to start listening to it, get an idea. But you know, you're going to, as you start working through and doing your work and, and doing your healing and dropping things, you will start doing this. You will get guided. But you know, anyway, I, as I say, don't, I don't suggest the crash course like this one did and terrify the life out of the body mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but then you see, you can tell other people. <laughs> First of all, what not to do, <laughs> and then what real reality, you know, reality is not what you think it is. So, yeah, <laughs> sorry, this is quite funny. <laughs> but this is where we're going. So this is why people marvel at our ET friends. It's because once you source and you realize, you know, that's it, you're the planet, you're everything. There's no separate one, and there's no fixed reality, you see. At the moment, humans are still very much thinking this is a solid reality, physical reality. There's nothing physical at all. 
It's a dream. It's a complete delusion like them. They realize that. So they know they can walk through the wall and all these things because they know it is them. It's not physical. It's like tapping into the wall. Okay, there we are, becoming the wall for a bit. You see, shape-shifting in a way. So there is no solid reality. There is no set reality. There is no solid anything. The mind is just... Yeah, the thoughts. It's faltering. As it falters, because you believe it, you're listening to this. Because you believe you're a separate person, right? So they're my thoughts, my body. You're listening to this little, little, little tape recorder going on in here. <laughs> and anyway, yeah. If you start this, you would, you'd realize, you know, you'll see. And then every now and then, as I say, if you still it, it will show you when you're ready. Um, you'll realize that there is no, there really is none. And this is why, as Bashar says, go with the flow. Because you are resisting. The only one that's resisting the flow is a thought. It's, it's an illusionary thought that believes the you, me, I, is a thought. I'm not joking. You can start your so-called non-duality guru thing inquiry and you will actually see it. <laughs> and they're talking to themselves. As you know, as you're more and more... Because you see the experience and the knowing, as it as it more comes away, you will actually see this and experience this, and you realize, yeah, okay, it's a habit. So it's just ba ba da ba, and every now and then, yeah, you listen to the parrot because you just it's a habit. It's, the body's used to listening to the parrot, but it really is, you know, the body and life has been going on all this time without a you. This is the joke. There never was a separate you. So this is when you realize you can actually just chill out because you have not been in control of your life or your body at all, ever. You see, as a separate one. <laughs> you are the one. And by believing you are, you've actually, you're weakening yourself and your power. Because you are saying, well, I'm separate from the self. And that's just a thought. It has no power. You see. Oh, whatever. Oh, who knows, Mala. I'm on here, so it's just whatever's coming out is coming out is sharing. It's one of these complete, unexpected, random lives, whatever. <laughs> here we are. Talking about things that blow you know, yeah. You've got to, st you've got to do this, um... You will find yourself as you go on your journey being called and then when you're ready for the non-dual, whatever, you will find yourself, you know, wow, it's it's quite mind-blowing. It is, it is a bit funky now because reality is changing. Not, not, and even, not, okay, even with the Maya in existence as such, it's still shifting. That's what I say. It's going to be a complex different way of perceiving of seeing things of everything so uh, that what they're trying if you see everything is getting you to relax go with the flow flow let go let go let go because literally i'm serious it's been shown here so many times that every now and then i suppose you get used to the, it's a habit the mind and then you get caught up in the for a while oh yeah okay sorry you know blah blah i was very busy again the blah blah just naturally, if you if you actually watch, you'll see that uh, the body naturally, like someone will phone you, there's no thought going into what's said, it just comes out. See, that's it's natural. Yes. It just comes out your mouth. I mean, you, you find the conversation without any thought you have. You try and think about what you said, it just came out naturally. You see, that character, there's no you doing it. There never, ever, ever was another you. The words and things just come out your mouth. The interaction just happens. You see, where we could be having a freaking ball. And, you know, let's go and have fun, laugh and relax and enjoy ourselves. If we, if we knew this all the time, we had no freaking control in the first place. We'd be having fun because now it feels like what it is, you can let go what you think you're responsible. You have no responsibility. <laughs> let go of it because you really don't. You're doing sweet stuff all, actually. You know? And this is, I think, why the, the new paradigm is changing in the way is that why we, and this is interesting, not like the I used to do in the old, yeah, it is so funny. Huh? <laughs> what, it, what is said, what we've been guided, what's been happening with us, right? On this movement, leading this movement, right? 
is it's all been cleared, cleared, cleared. All your negative beliefs and perceptions are being cleared. Why? So your empowerment is coming back. But not with any negative way you can misuse it because otherwise it makes hell of a lot of sense. Because if you come back to the awareness of source and you have too much shadow and you haven't, you know, there's no wisdom and you haven't worked for your karma and all those things, you're going to misuse the power. So you'll be like a dysfunctional god, in other words, you know what I mean? Or dysfunctional avatar. Because you're going to go around in separation wanting to use it on, manipulate and use it in a negative way to, to on others. You know, that would be, yeah, that's going in the opposite direction of, involve, of of being evolved. And then, you know, so now you're graduating to come with a higher consciousness, higher uh, intelligence and whatever else, beings, right? More evolved beings that, that know how to behave. So all our shit, really, <laughs> literally, is being cleaned out, really. This seems to be what's happening to all on Earth which they're all going to go through, the ones that have chosen this path anyway. So much, you know, some will maybe want to do another cycle or just, you know, haven't experienced the third density or karmic cycle, they're going to carry on the old earth and, you know, off they go, whatever. There's many versions because it's just consciousness. It's just one, it's a dream. So you can create whatever you bloody want, experience. So, yeah, you're creating everything, your own little universe, your own little dream anyway. It's like your dream. Nobody needs to help you dream. You dream the whole story on your own. Really, this is what you're doing, right? So people are choosing the stories now and they're veering off. But what's happened with us is that all our shit's being cleared out. So negative beliefs, disempowered stories, uh, traumas, uh, you know, all that stuff. Um, and you're being purified, body, mind, heart. So you will walk like the sainted masters, but loving, kindness, compassion, wisdom, um, peace, um, unity. You know what I mean? You want to help. Yeah, just. Uh, yeah. But what seems to be where we're going? Yeah. Oh, who knows? It's just coming. I'm just letting the shit come through because I was not expecting to be on you literally. Like it was like. This all of a sudden push to put my computer on and start talking. I was like, okay, about what? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> you know how these things are. Who knows? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Here we are. <laughs> these things just happen, as you know. So you just go with it. And a very strong urge, yeah, to, to come on here. Yeah, Why? I don't know. <laughs> but here we are anyway. That's all fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's just shit happens. Hey? So yeah, this is, it's all been cleared out. And this is what I see because this one started this non-dual crash course. It decided it, it was guided to listen to some non-dual things, ancient teachings. And I came across one. Yes, of course not. Exactly. <laughs> Never. Exactly. So I came across one. And it was just, it just resonated like there was no ego. There never was. That is the Maya. That is the nonsense. That is the illusion that there is a separate one. And immediately, there's only one, not two. I just ding-donged. And there was just drive, right. But without any guidance, without any, you know, in this life, any teachings, any knowledge of how to do this, we just, that's it. We just completely ignored the body, mind, and everything else, and which of the third eye, and ignored Everything that was, you know, in the projected world, because there is nothing out here. There is nothing outside, literally. Your mind's filtering the story and, and it's making little pictures. And there is no outside world or outside anything, literally. Anyway, so um, we went on this little crash course. And then, you know, you started getting your glimpses. And yes, and, you know, let's say the source wakes up and there we are and everything. And what you were told is to ignore the character. Ignore the thoughts, ignore the character completely, and there we are. That's all you do, like as they say, and it will fall away. So anyway, we were busy with this, but we, as you say, we didn't, we didn't, they say do no violence. We didn't understand that we, you're not supposed to deny or reject the body, you see. <laughs> That's what I say, you know. Hey, we, let's find out the hard way so we can tell you what not to do. You're not supposed to reject the body. And that, anyway, we, we, you know, hey, hey, who knows when you haven't got any guidance, right? So, yeah, that kind of, it kind of kicked back. 
But as the veil, as you know, everything was, yeah, yeah, you were confirmed and yeah, you saw this and that and da, da, da. So you got the whole gist of what you were in reality and source and how long you've existed. And, and this round has been a hell of a long round, actually. Wow. Long time. So um, it's been sleeping a long time. So, well, it, then you actually wake up. There is no time again. So, I mean, it's just so wacky anyway. But then the veil was about to literally like disappear, like literally at that last minute that light comes and you're about to. It's so basically what you experience is dying before you die. Like people say they go through the light, this bright light. As they go through the bright light, that's it. You're back in source awareness again. You are then become one with source. So this happens now while you're in a body. So as the gurus say, there's no one there. So the character dies. You literally become oneness, the universe again. There is no so it's like the soul or the body dies. There isn't any, but it's energy. That whole thing bursts poof, like that, bubble pops, and you are the universe. The illusion has disappeared, no more Maya. But because, you know, this one hadn't a clue, hadn't done this and didn't know what to expect, I literally thought I was the whole body and everything was going to disappear into another dimension. <laughs> and I was going to leave you all to suffer. <laughs> so <laughs> there was like, no... I just couldn't, I just thought I was going to be a bit of an arsehole if I disappeared into this beautiful, hip. you knew the Garden of Eden, everything was there, you were aware that everything was there, and I thought if I, if I just, excuse the French, but fuck off into another dimension and leave you all here, you know, like to shit off, I just, uh, you know, I was like, no, I can't, I can't do that, and I wanted to help them, I wanted to help manifest this, the best version, the highest version of Earth, and blah, 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 so there we are, um, <laughs> Now you can laugh when you realize there is no one to save and no real earth. But it's still the Maya, you see. I mean, it's still, you know, it's still you. Everything is you. Oh, it's still funny. you got to laugh. I have to laugh even at the self. <laughs> oh, dear. I really thought, no, 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 I can't go. I can't just go off and leave everybody. <laughs> but now I wasn't going to go anywhere. <laughs> the bubble would have popped. And now you know as a guru. And you would have remained as such, but except the illusions for, yeah, I can't explain it. You're here, but you're not here. <sighs> the body carries on, you know, in the story. But you are, yeah, you're completely like, you can see everything. It's not like there's any, you know, oh, yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it. Uh-uh. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 it is, yeah, it's some interesting, sorry, it's so hot, I don't know why, hectic, interesting stuff going on at the moment, yeah, interesting shifts and changes, so this one all of a sudden felt like, you see, here was always the thing, as I say, to put others first, to work, to put others first, little realization came here, so now, this is one of the reasons why we started that path, the whole thing. Oh, anyway. So there was this desire to get there so I could save humanity, help people. You see, because that's what I'm saying. You don't know this is a flippin' illusion. There is nobody and there's no people. There's no one to die. No one can get hurt. The conscious, these are forms, empty forms. You can experience it. The experience can be painful and horrible, you know, or like serious. Like, as you know, you hurt yourself, it's, it's sore. You're not hurting yourself, but you can feel the pain of the body and everything. Oh, well, it's because you identified with it anyway. Hi. So, yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> Sorry, it really was funny. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Wow. Well, let's see what happens. Things are getting uh, things are getting interesting. So, yeah, there was a desire again to to. That was the, the motivation behind this, because with everything that's going on, if you do that, first of all, you're holding a, that, that incredible frequency. It has such a power. It has such an immense effect on people on Earth. You're going to help humanity, help other people. You help Earth. And then I could heal. And secondly, you would know, the whole idea here was if I did that, you have the awareness of all, because all is you. So you can see all their lives and things. So you're not going to interfere where you shouldn't, because this is where the worry was. If you get power and do things from a, a consciousness of separation, you can't see the life, the story, the path, why they chose that. So you might want to, the character, 
It's what I say, the illusion where you will want to help or intervene or interfere or heal someone where you shouldn't do it. They've chosen to leave that where you see. So this was always the thing was to do that, but it was from a place of uh, self-sacrifice and service again. Now that was an old way of thinking and being, you see. This is part of the old paradigm which is shifting. So there it's the same thing was always you put yourself first, put your children first, do everything else, da da da. It's weird. So now the thing is, yes, we are in service, but as ourself. But it's not to the detriment of ourself. We, we were always taught, oh, suck it up and look the other way and, you, you know, and you do this because it's, your, well, it's good and it's the right thing to do for someone else and your family and murder, murder, all that nonsense. This is what's leaving. So it's very strange because it's not now always here, like, oh, don't worry about me, you know, I'll just, you know, sacrifice, like, for, you know, for, the, for, for everybody else. You're not supposed to be. There's no like, oh, you know, here we are, you know, run me over, I'll be the martyr, you know, there's no more martyr story. That's from unhealed, uh, because you are, you see, this is what's coming, the understanding. You are the source itself. There's only you, each one of you is source itself. So that was from an unawakened perspective where you're like, you suffered and you harmed and this and that. So where you are that, you see, you are that. So that self love, the love for you that you feel from the divine is so incredibly strong. You see, that is you, that is your love for your, for your avatar, for your character and the story you're playing. And when you realize that, you see, there's no more like, oh, well, you know, never mind me. Um, this is, yeah, this is a habit. This is a habit and a program which we need to break, which is leaving. We're, no, we're not going to, we're not going to... Like this one was thinking, right, it, always, it was always in there. Because it's, a, it's just a characteristic, it's a trait here in the leadership. We're right now, you got to, you know, because you've always found yourself playing the leader or the guide. But it's not to the detriment of yourself. How's that? That's it. Where well, you always were taught to put others first. Other, no, not anymore at all. This is interesting. So the motivation here was still to do that trying to force something and now when you try and do it it doesn't the energy just doesn't feel right you can feel it it doesn't feel right it doesn't resonate to force things anymore you see because who's trying to force it the idea there's a separate one here that needs to do something is always coming from the separate you see the ego there is no separate one ever yes service to self first yeah this is i say it's such a it's a very different concept and when you like this one not a young swing chicken and you've got so used to that and you've always put others first literally i mean you know you were quite happy to sacrifice your life for others you know what i mean it's a it's not a healthy yeah and it's it's a it's a pattern and i was like okay yeah so yes <laughs> But your intentions are good. <laughs> to think you give up the good. It's a laugh now. When I, laugh. I actually, that's probably going to be my highlight of this uh, journey when I return back to the self. The biggest laugh I'm going to have is that you sacrificed the Garden of Eden to stick it out here. <laughs> Paradox. No. <laughs> when there was never anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> this is it really made me laugh. This is my laugh, my kind of yeah, no. <laughs> well, you know. But anyway, there we are. It's part of it because, as source, you can't play by yourself, then the whole thing won't work. You are playing by yourself, but the other characters you see. So they're all part of you. If you all didn't play your part, then the others would, you know, miss out. Because we're all playing, like as I say, you've designed your little dream. So all of these work together. And this is what I also feel now, is this trying to force something. Like now again, I just thought, all right, I must get going. I must, you know, now get back on the thing and, and finish this job. I felt this, like yesterday, I really got into it. I felt, right, that's it. I need to, I'm going to reach, you know, the final 
see it's ego again who's the, who's the I that wants to reach the final thing like you know okay I know I know how to do it because I've done it already that completely collapse the veil and be the guru because then I can really help people so this was the motivation again here and it's now just not resonating with me and this is not what I should have. like okay and I'm just thinking about this source gets all excited knows that but then you if you look if you look at it again that's it you're perpetuating the bloody thing and it's also it really the, the body is well it's really heavy on the body mind so yeah there's other ways of collapsing it that one was effective and quick but it's really hard on the body mind wow so the the same with this are you really know it's a lot of bollocks you really know i mean as i said there's no doubt here you know there is no separate one it's just a habit you know that it's just a pattern of thoughts and a habit there is no doubt here there is no one i mean that's been seen it's been shown it's been demonstrated you know it you feel it you see it there's no you know what i mean there's no question about that as i say it's just a pattern of a habit so let's see i don't know but it doesn't resonate here to force it again, to try and sit here now for another 30 days and like force the whole thing to slow down so it collapses. Um, it's really a bit harsh on the, on, the, on, the, on the brain as well. So the, yeah, now you know as well, you can just, I suppose, do it in a more relaxed way, either ignore it or question, use the question or whatever. Let's just see. But that was... Um, it just doesn't feel right anymore. I don't know why. Now, it's, as they say, you've got this thing to joy. I think it will automatically fall. Is to live, be in joy and passion. Which is something a lot of us, you know, very little of your life on earth in the past was spent doing that. It was work, it's this, it's that. It was just, it's been a drag. It's been responsibility, stress, worry, work, this, that. I mean, oh, really, you know. Yeah, some of it's fun, but as I say, um, it's a whole move. It's it's a huge shift in paradigm and in behavior and in way of being and seeing and doing and thinking about things. It is a massive shift. It's like a complete 360 to how humans have been, thought and behaved before. Like this is a, well, this is, you know, the realm of duality. So while you, even though you can have the awareness of a, of of source duality, the forms remain in duality. You might not be affected by it. This is where we go. We won't be affected by it in, as far as negative lessons anymore. No karmic lessons, but you know the the good and bad, the the choices or the thing, the opposites are there. The opposite, it's just energy. That's all. Because anything really exists is energy. So it's the negative positive charge the energies you're experiencing, but the source is creating a story out of it So because source these energies flux How do I explain this? Yeah, be patient you're just going through changes upgrades. You don't have to be all the time. It's nothing wrong with that This is what you say. This is part of the thing the, the move it. What actually exists is just energy as I said there's nothing energy and it just keeps creating so it's just like waves it's motion it's constantly in motion if you see it um it's really funky so this is what it does it just creates that source source just creates that's what it does but as there's only energy and it just creates it's like these forms of waves right so what you have done is the one is daydreaming you're imagining a story but you're using the energy you see, the positive and negative as a flow is your story within your dream. So you're creating a story around it, but there is no, you know, nothing happening actually. Never mind. <laughs> but the Maya, yeah, with you can play. Uh, yeah, let's not even try and explain it. <laughs> it's just weird, yeah. Yeah. Yes, but as I say, is the hot and cold. The contrast doesn't go, you see. Yes, love, you know it's not what I'm saying. The duality is there. Hot, cold, warm, you know, you know, anger, happiness, these things don't go away. You see. 
you're just not going to resonate with them, some of them, but yeah, that, you know, that doesn't change, you see. Otherwise, the game would be very boring, I suppose. So, yeah, the, the energies are there. You just won't be inclined to maybe use some of the ones that are in a lower frequency or, you know, behavior and whatever. As I say, you've transmuted it. You're standing more, as you go more towards the self, which is just love. It's so chilled and happy. Because there's nothing but fricking you in existence, you know what I mean? You've got nothing to worry about. If you if you realize, close your eyes and you realize, I'm trying to imagine this, close your eyes and literally, you're, there's a space. You're in deep space, right? There's fuck all, literally, <laughs> out there. Nothing. This is actually really where you are. You are, which you think, this is the you, there's no you. You are inside yourself. You couldn't be safe if you tried. <laughs> there is literally nothing out there. You're in nothing. You're inside nothingness. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. This is quite a ride. We're all going to find. We're going to, you know. This is what I, yeah. It is incredible, actually. It's just the mind, you see. Constantly pushing out thoughts. This is why it comes up. As you think of one, it, and more thoughts come towards it. It's like streams. Shh. So this is why they say when you silence it, like you did, like this one, it takes some work because uh, you see, it's it's when you constantly the mind is busy every day, it builds up momentum. So it's not. It's like quite a fun. It takes about the first two weeks. You're going to shit off to get that thing to be quiet completely, and then you get it into a complete stillness, and then you know your next two weeks, your last three weeks, poof. That's it. And then you you will start the veil. You can say because once you've stilled everything, there's no energy, even the emotions in you. You quieten all the energy. You get that energy to that. It's like a pond. Now things come out. Wow. Then it gets interesting. And then, you, then, you know, reality reveals itself to you as a guru say. It's true. And it's like, ooh. Yeah, but as I say, it's a shock, and this is why. Could you imagine if everyone, you know, it would, it would just, you can send you over the edge. If it, if you were too quickly exposed to it and you weren't ready, and you had too much fear or trauma, to for reality, like you know, can you imagine this whole world, la 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 la, next minute, poof, the world vanishes. <laughs> it's quite a shock to the system, eh? Believe me, it is. Look, look at your body. If you listen to non-duality, just go and listen. Watch some people. Initially, some people get very annoyed and irritated. What are you talking about? What nonsense? What do you mean I don't? There's no me. Your e It's a big, your ego can hit huge fear and resistance. So this is why it's done bit by bit by bit. And it can really kick back, eh? It really does. So this is why it's, you know, gently, I think. Otherwise, it's, it's uh, yeah, wow. It's a big shock, eh? <laughs> Trust, and parad it's paradoxical, because you think, well, holy shit, what, what's the point then? What, you, you all of a sudden think, well, what's the point of wanting anything? Because literally, when you realize there is nothing, it's like, well, I don't want a car or a house, because it doesn't exist. It's not even real. You'll see, nothing is tangible. There is no real thing, anything here. You're chasing illusionary money, illusionary everything. <laughs> And then you understood why the gurus went to live in the cave. And then you think, now, you can think, oh, yeah, actually, I might as well go live in a monastery, actually. Literally. So you kind of want to uh, quit the life as you as you live it now, because you think, oh, there's no point, like they did. So all these paradoxes go through your mind. Happened here, lots of them. <laughs> and you were like, okay, you might as well go live in a cave, because, you know, none of this is real. There's no point, you know. So... Yeah, it's it's a strange paradox. Yeah, very. It's a very strange. As I say, it's paradoxical. The whole thing. The experience is real. No, seems real. Oh, well, I don't even try. <laughs> yeah, it, it, so it was not like a disappointment, but it's like oh, holy shit! You know what I mean? Oh, why? And, and you realize there's no, you know, what children? You think you've got children? No, you don't. <laughs> That's a shock. Ooh, and you're looking at them again now like this. Uh, and you were, here with my children, what children? If it, if this is not your body, 
you didn't have children. And when you can see through the mire, you realize they're not your children. Not what you think. So it's what I'm saying. Can you imagine? It's a big shift in your consciousness. Because all of a sudden it's like, oh. Now you don't know how to feel about them. Because you realize what you thought my children are not. <laughs> you know, and everything. It's like, so, it's like the reevaluation of everything. So yeah, I could I could understand this why it won't happen at one big bang. Uh, I suppose yeah. Well, who knows? Don't know. Let's see what's going to happen. Maybe. Maybe or maybe as we are we going now? Yeah, as we're going now, we've gone in like waves. There's like groups of us. We're going through this certain stages. So I think that's it. As you ready, like this group of light workers now at the front, are, will hit the the non duality. The veil fall away. We're going to have the great awakening this year, some, and then next year. So I think it's going to go in waves. Who knows? I mean, even that, is a, that's a guess. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it is funky because you will not see people as you do now, like grasping. Now you can see why they, they don't grasp because who the fuck are you grasping to? <laughs> Nobody. When you realize it's a form, it's a character, it's not real, it's illusional. There is no, you know, it changes your perception and how you feel about things. Because it's not like, oh my gosh, I want that and losing it. Because what are you losing? There's nothing real. Nothing is real here. You see? Now you got to see it. Feeling it is a different thing. Isn't it? It's a big shock, eh? Especially when you're a mother and you say, you you sort of kind of put your life, your children high. Your children, uh, you know, with sort of most people are, you know, yeah. And then you look at them and you're like, oh, no, they're not my children. You see, there's no me. This one that thinks it's got everything and my this, my that. There's no my, 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 my here. You start asking, asking it, asking it. Where's, show me where me, show me. Do your inquiry and it will and you will follow that thought and you'll end up in space. As I said, there's nothing out there. <laughs> Just nothingness. Spaciousness. Space. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh no, it'll be so nice in that aspect. But then you see I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, then yeah, you know, kind of, yeah, you you've almost felt like you were like, as I say, ostracized because, you know, you don't see reality as everybody else did. So it was like, what's the point? How can you talk to people? Relate because, you know, they're in a complete illusion. So this is what I felt like. I felt like I was going to go trick off to a monastery. I thought, oh, well, I'm going to might as well just go and hang out at a monastery because it's like, you know, and just finish my days off there because I just didn't see any point, you know. But it, it, uh, this is the strange thing, but um, the whole paradigm is changing though. So the physical realm is changing as well. This is really strange. So before you had a guru, but the third dimensional the energy and the paradigm and everything stayed the same, this karmic cycle. Now, our whole physical dimension and reality is going to shift as well as the consciousness. I know, I can't explain. I, uh, don't, I don't know how to begin to. So our abilities and everything else will also shift. So you're not going to be carnating into this density that you believed in. The, and the limitations that you had before. Yes. 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 Now that I can imagine. But as I say, you know, when it started falling away, I was like, the, the paradox of for the, all these things started going through your mind and you had no one to talk to and talk about it because there was no, you know, it was on my own. There was no teacher here or anything. So it was like you were trying to grasp with all these things and no... I mean, you were just happy. You knew it was all you and you were creating and there's everything but you. So that part was great. But it's the interacting with everybody else is like, and you, 
You also couldn't tell them because, it, as I say, it's a, people get very upset and frightened when you tell them that.